Look at this. CFLs have developed so much that they're equivalent CFL lamps for anything without even changing your fixtures. For example, par lights, par 38. Okay? You can replace that and you get a 90%, 97% savings. Okay? That, that hot the spotlight thing, par 38, you replace it with a CFL equivalent. More interesting thing here, this one. Halogen lights, they're like the ones we have here, no? Even with a G10 socket, yung dalawang pin, you can replace that perfectly with a CFL. You can take this bulb out and replace it without even changing the fixture. That's going to be even up to 40%. Even this, I'm sure you've seen these square halogen lights, this bulb which is long, that can even be replaced here. 24 watts. And they deliver exactly the same power, but with much, much lower energy usage. And you can even choose between daylight and warm white. Lighting. Remember that formula I gave you, 2.5 and, and the height of your window? What does this mean for lighting? If you're going to rewire or retrofit, zone your lights. Light A, a light C, light B, light A. Have this light A switch separately. B separately, C separately. Why? What happens is sometimes some office process. You switch on the lights, the whole thing is on. But yet the guy there beside the window really doesn't need the light. During the day at least. Huh? So again, things to consider. It's just a matter of zoning your lights, changing your switches. And then label clearly switches, especially in offices and make a logical sequence. What happens in an office? You come in, there's a gang of switches. Click, no, click, no, click, no, click, no. Oh, forget it, just turn everything on. And then you go in, you're the only guy in the office, no? See? So, again, if you're a designer and you're going to retrofit anyway, and you're going to change your wiring, make it logical. I was even thinking, maybe you should have a layout of the, of the room and have your switches there, no? You're going there, switch A, oh, diba? So, you're going to retrofit anyway. Let's make it logical. And of course, it's better if you have light colored floor, wall, and ceiling because then they bring natural light in. Huh? If it's dark, not much reflection. Huh? 